Hey guys, today I wanted to share a recipe with you that is perfect for a springtime brunch. This is a recipe that was introduced to me years ago by a family friend that we would go see every summer. She had a fantastic lake and we would wake up as kids and run down there and go swimming only to come back up and be greeted with this amazing blueberry crumb cake. Years later, I started craving this cake again and so I decided to adapt it based on the memory. And today I'm happy to say it's very close to the original and I wanted to share it with you. In the bowl of an electric mixer, we're going to beat together a half a cup of butter and three quarters cup of sugar. You wanna combine that just until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to add two eggs, one at a time, beating in between each addition and scraping down the bowl. And you wanna let that go anywhere between five to seven minutes just to make sure you have a nice, soft, creamy mixture on your hands. To that, you're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and you can beat that up. And then you can set that aside. And in a medium sized bowl, you're going to add two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. You can whisk that all together until combined. And then we are going to add the dry ingredients in thirds, and then alternate with a half a cup of milk. And you're gonna add both, going back and forth, until everything is combined. And you have a nice batter. Then you wanna remove it from your mixer and fold in two cups of fresh blueberries. Then you're gonna pour your batter into a 10 by 10 brownie tin. I like to use a removable bottom tin. That way the cake is really easily released once it's baked. And you just wanna make sure it's nice and sprayed with the baking spray. And then set that aside. And then we're gonna prepare the topping. So the topping is this sort of sugary, crumbly thing. And at first it's gonna look like a ton of sugar. And I guess it kind of is, I have to admit. This is really party food. This isn't something you wanna have every morning for breakfast. But I've tried to reduce the sugar in the past and it's just not as good. You'll see, it forms a really nice crust on the top of it. So it's a cup of sugar, a half a cup of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, you're just gonna whisk together those dry ingredients, and then you wanna add a half cup of butter that you've diced into cubes, and just work it in with your hands, creating a nice crumb. Then you just want to add this topping to the top of the batter. And it'll look like a ton of topping, but this is really how you have to do it <laughs> if you wanna create that nice crust on top. Then we're gonna put it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes, and once it's done, you'll see it'll start to buckle a little bit. It might even crack. That's okay. That's the look we're going for. And then let it cool for at least 30 minutes or so. Then you want to release it from the tin. And then you can cut it into nice large squares and pile it on a cake stand. You've got the delicious cake underneath studded with those fresh blueberries. And of course, mixed with the crunch of that sugary topping. It is one delicious breakfast treat and takes me back to when I was about nine years old to Lily Pond Drive out in Long Island. <laughs> I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And be sure to subscribe for more quick and easy recipes. And as always, you can find the printable versions on my website, entertainingwithbeth.com. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next week with another delicious and easy recipe. Until then, bye.